it just, I don't know, it, it, we have conversations all the time, you know, in, in the groups that I'm in and we, we love to lament about communication today, you know, <laughs> and everybody has the, you know, no longer we can't even talk to anybody here. <laughs> so what have you observed, you know, over the past, uh, since you have actually been actively engaged in, in this field with conflict resolution and, and management, are, are we seeing it correctly? I mean, has it gotten worse or are we just more aware of it now than we used to be? So I'm going to say something a little controversial because awesome. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> I don't think it's any worse. Yeah, I think people never really have the ability to talk to each other because we don't teach this in schools. Mm. And you talk like your mama and daddy talked mm -hmm. or your grandma, and that's what you get. What we are getting now, though, is less uh, civility. Mm. That we still can't talk to each other, so can't listen to another perspective, another point of view. Mm -hmm. But what we've lost is the ability to, well, we can agree to disagree. Yeah, that's OK. Or, yeah. you know, Jen, I just think you're wrong mm -hmm. versus Jen. I'm going to punch you in the face because you're wrong. So it's, right. the, it's the intensity that yeah. has happened. And neuroscientists call this a standardization of deviance. Mm. So just to give a quick example, my husband's an airline pilot and was a Czech airman with American Airlines. And he told me that, uh, you know, a few decades ago, airplanes would get damaged all the time. The luggage carts, the beverage carts. You know, some guy wasn't paying attention and they'd whack the plane. Well, you can't take off then. And all the people have to deplane. You got to fix it. It's a big deal. So they did a rule and they said, 10 feet away. Everyone has to stay 10 feet away from a plane. 